like I can't play a ball. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no moving star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play a ball. Drop your vibrate higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. Goddess of desire. All right, so I'm going to read you guys the energy for the month of November. I'm going to go ahead in and give you guys this November's energy. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to do it early. Yay. Yay. So y'all can go ahead and see what's coming ahead, all right? So y'all can go ahead and make the decisions that you need to make. Um, do what it is that you need to do ahead of time, okay? So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. And don't forget to click that bell, all right? subscribe 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 all right and if you have been rocking with me what's up guys mwah, mwah, mwah. all right so this is going to be the energy for november for the for the sun moon rising sign of cancers if these messages resonate we got getting to know each other all right so are you getting to know somebody is there an attraction that you have with someone new all right well like i was saying um damn it i forgot what i was about to say <laughs> okay so if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and also um like comment and share with your family and friends okay um these messages are going to be they can be vice versa. They could be your energy. They could be your partner's energy. It could be a cross watcher's energy. Um, but we're going to do general reads. So whatever pops out, pops out. Okay. So this is going to be for the month of November. It's going to be for the month of November. All right. So what messages do we have for cancers for the month of November? I just did you guys as a reading, as a matter of fact. And for some reason, I don't know. I just messed around and didn't save it. Oh, you got two messages. Okay, so we got healing family issues and we have true love. Okay, let's grab one more. Let's grab one more. Give me one more message for cancer for the month of November. This has the most definitely. Oh, some of you guys. Oh, wow, this is a lot. Okay, I'm not even finna try to read this. This is just a lot. But I see reconciliation came up, okay? So some of you guys may be returning to um, an ex or ex is returning. Keep in mind, guys, we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, okay? Mercury does go retrograde on October 31st, okay? But we are in the shadow period, all right? So let me take a sip, okay? Just thinking about that shit is just like, ugh. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, and I want to let you guys know as well, I am doing um, Mercury Retrograde. Um, will your ex return or how to, you know, what to expect from your exes when they return during the Mercury Retrograde? Um, if you're a new client, I'm doing those readings for $25. All right, that information will be below in the drop box. All right, and if you reach out in a timely fashion between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, I'll get your reading out to you same day. These readings are going to be um, e email-based, so I can get them out as quickly as possible. Um, but if you prefer to have a video request, you can have your um, reading sent out via video, a private link. But I do emails just to get the readings out quicker in a timely fashion. All right, so did I ever get the third? No, let's see. One more message for Cancer. Okay, we got soulmate. All right, so y'all got true love, soulmate, and healing family issues. 
All right, so let's hop into you guys' reading. I'm not going to do clarifiers. I'm just going to just hop directly into the reading, okay? We have trust down here at the bottom of the deck as well as is it safe for you to love? Okay, so you're trying to figure out if you could trust this person. Is it safe for you to let your guard down with this person or vice versa? This person feels like this towards you, okay? All right, so please give me clarifiers for cancers. Not clarifiers. I said I wasn't going to do clarifiers. Give me um, messages for November. What message do you have for my cancers for the month of November? Sun, moon, and rising cancers. What is going on? Like, are you guys feeling all over the place? What is, what is this? Okay. Cancers. All right, bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. Maybe you guys are feeling defeated, okay? Um, I see that some of you guys do want a commitment. You want a commitment possibly from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, maybe you feel as if you're single or you're doing something on your own, but you are wanting this commitment, okay? And you feel defeated until you get what you want, okay? See, look, we got you feeling disappointed or feeling down, sad. Some of you guys could be feeling depressed. What the hell is going on, Cancers? Some of y'all are just feeling down, okay? Like, not interested. Yeah, chariot card, which is you guys' energy. Like, you don't know how to move forward with this situation we got a three of cups there could be three people involved okay maybe you don't want to be part of a third party situation look we have the moon card here pisces is energy but there's something that is hidden or something that's kept in the dark all right you want to change this situation you want to see things go in your favor and then we have the lovers going ahead okay so gemini's is energy but this could be a decision between two different people all right All right, so Aquarius' energy is here as well, too, um, as well as Aries, as well as Leo. Like, there's lots of different energies here. Um, maybe you were dealing with the Capricorn, um, and maybe you were in a toxic situation. Maybe you're not wanting to be in this toxic situation anymore. Um, you just don't know how to move forward out of it, Okay. Someone could be hiding the fact that they are already in a marriage or um, already in some type of long-term commitment, okay? Maybe um, there's just something like some someone could be like hiding. It could be something about a family um, or a marriage or um, where they live or someone's just hiding something, okay? I feel like you want the situation to change, okay? You're wanting to see things turn around. A lot of you guys are dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay, we got the deception here. We got the Seven of Swords and the Lovers. So, so, so someone is definitely like not being honest in this um, this situation. Okay, someone is definitely not being honest. Someone is like sneaking around. I'm getting sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. All right. You're hoping that something blows up in someone's face. Like, you're hoping that someone here has, like, this big epiphany wake-up call. And possibly, I got Scorpio's energy here as well. Someone here is, like, toxic, codependent. Um, someone is stalking. Someone's stalking someone's house. Someone is watching. I'm picking up on stalker-type energy. Someone is, like, creeping in the middle of the night riding by someone's house or spying on them i'm really really picking up on watching someone's house be careful because i'm, I'm definitely picking up like stalker type energy
Yes, you guys are spying on someone. You guys are watching the hell out of someone. If this isn't you, then somebody is watching the hell out of you. But I'm picking up that this is your energy. Okay. Um, I'm picking up that this is your energy. We got the page of swords. Maybe you're watching someone's social media. This could be someone's social media account. Okay. They're waiting for some type of truth to be revealed. Um, and they're ready for it too. Or they feel as if you are being, that you have been being very controlling. Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries. Um, but they feel um, that there needs to be a clearing of the air. Okay. And someone is deciding to resist. Maybe you guys are resisting this clearing of the air with this person. You've been holding back your emotions. And it's like some shocking, out of the blue, someone messages you or you message them. But I feel like you guys are hoping for like a, a, a random message out of the blue. Okay. You, you like, you're hoping for this person to reach out to you with some good news. The page of wands is good news. Why is the page of wands here? Okay, King of Wands. So maybe you're hoping to, and then we got you guys is here at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. Maybe you guys are hoping that a, a fire sign reaches out to you. Okay, what's the page of swords here? Oh yeah, spying. Some of you guys are just worried that that this person walked away from you, or you walked away from them. Um, and you've been in your head about it. You can, can't can sleep. And you, it's just like, the situation is keeping you up, okay? Why is the four of cups here? It's like you don't want to make any changes. Why is the four of cups here? Six of cups. You don't want to go back. King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Justice. I'm just picking up like you don't want to go back to this. Why? You don't want to go back down the same path. You don't want to do something again. Why is the Six of Cups here? Are you getting like how something happened or how something went down? Full card. This was risky. This was a big risk. You took a leap of faith. Okay. And maybe you moved in with this person or you decided to move on from this person or this person is like at a distance from you. I'm picking up. You don't think that this is something that's right. This person, um, you could be watching, keeping an eye on this person. But this person, someone is sneaky, okay? Someone isn't being honest. Someone is lying through their teeth. Somebody is sneaking off with third parties. Why is the world here? But I'm sensing like a phase coming to a close or this person could be at a distance from you or it's like this, uh, this chapter could be coming to a close where this is a where you were possibly put in a third party situation or you put someone in a third party situation. Why is the world card here? Okay, you want this chapter to close. You want this chapter to close. You want this cycle to end. Some of you guys possibly have been seeing 999. Look at you. Regretting this relationship. You're regretting this connection. You're regretting someone had third party involved. We got the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Could be mother and daughter situation. I feel like some of you guys are just having regrets about this, okay? Some of you, some of you guys are just having regrets. I feel like you just you want to switch things up. You have a few options in front of you, so you do do have the opportunity to switch things up. But for some reason, I feel like some of you guys are still waiting for this person to reach out for you, reach out to you, and hoping and you know that is that you hear from this person. 
you feel like this person is your soulmate and you really do care about this person but there is something that um you need to heal maybe you guys have decided that you want to take some time to do some healing maybe there were things at home that you needed to heal and you weren't sure if you could trust this person but for some reason like this person does all of this to you and you still really truly love this person you feel like this person is your soulmate I don't know what's going on, Cancers. But we're going to see how they feel about you. And then we're going to talk. How how do they feel about you? Then we'll talk. I want to know if you guys are watching these people. Is Cancer spying on their partner? I mean, obviously you are because if, you, if you're if you watching tarot, that's pretty much fine. And then look, we got a yes. Are they spying on cancer? Is cancer's partner or who cancer is thinking about, are they spying on cancer? Yeah, they're watching you too. So y'all both are just watching each other. Okay, so... Show me how they feel about cancer for the month of November. How do they feel about cancer for the month of November? All right, so they feel like the situation is a burden okay they are like they're ready to let it go um let's see some of you guys dealing with the see yeah look page of swords they're watching you too they're watching you some of you guys are dealing with the sagittarius or a water sign or an air sign but I mean, they're watching you too okay they're getting advice they feel like you're getting advice. Maybe they feel like you're talking to friends or getting some type of advice. They want to know who you're getting your advice from, okay? But I feel like they feel as if you possibly have options or they have other options, okay? They're watching your social media page. I feel like you guys do want a second chance. You want to rekindle this. Um, they're definitely watching your page. Yeah, some, I feel like someone has options. Okay, they feel as if this cycle is coming to an end. This cycle is coming to a close. I'm telling you, some of you guys are getting, seeing the number 999, okay? Yeah, look, you want a second chance, but they're trying to close out this, this chapter. Okay, look, the Empress and the Moon, definitely third party. Okay, so maybe... Some of you guys are in a third party situation um, and, and they, they're not really wanting to fight for it either. They're not really willing to fight for it. I feel like they want you to fight for it. Yeah, they're waiting for you to reach out and they're waiting for you to put forth the initiative. Um, they are regretting having some type of third party mixture thingy going on here. Um, they're looking back at it with regrets and there could be a fire sign involved. Um, that this is possibly who they want to cut out and cut off, okay? Maybe they are thinking about cutting um, cutting off whoever the other party is, okay? Because I'm feeling like they have other options, but then they're looking back at it like, you know, damn, maybe I do need to cut these other options off. You want them to step up and, you know, give you a second chance? But they had other things going on here in the past. They had other people in the past. But I just feel like, yeah, they're not, they, they, they feel like you aren't putting in enough uh, effort to fight for them. They want to see you fight for them. Why is the Knight of Cups here? They want to reach out to you, but I feel like they're waiting. They're holding back. See, look, you could be dealing with the fire sign. This fire sign, if you're dealing with the fire sign, they're holding back from reaching out to you. They're holding back. 
They want to, but they want you to initiate. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh boy, they are so cutthroat. Like they are like feeling as if they have to cut. I'm gonna just say this. If you if you are dealing with someone or a fire sign or someone to this nature that fits this that fits this storyline and you were possibly like on the side, they are like wanting to close out a chapter. Okay. Or this is another scenario. Um, there, that there is a. I'm still picking up on third party, but I feel like they could be wanting to close out a chapter. Um, if you're the main person, they possibly had someone on the side, and they're wanting to close that chapter out because I see them here having regrets. Yeah, having regrets and moving on. From a situation they're ready to move forward um why is the six of swords here but it's slowly we have nine of pentacles like they're slowly leaving it alone they're slowly closing out their other options okay so it looks like they have other options here um that they're trying to close out on but they're like dragging their feet doing it they're not willing to um, put in the fight. They want you to do it. Or maybe they even want you, like, literally to find out who it is that they're messing with and, like, literally go fight them. Um, but I don't recommend all of that. That's just not ladylike or, you know, it's just not cute. They were waiting. I feel like some of you guys, they, somebody decided that they were going to be single in the past when they was waiting for... Um, waiting to make a decision and someone had two lovers that they had a decision between I'm picking up a lot of you guys are dealing with fire signs got king of wands again you know Sagittarius Aries Sagittarius real big Scorpio but I feel like they aren't they don't want to put in a, they don't want to put in a fight they want you to do the work. They want you to prove your love to them. And I'm like, for what? For First of all, from what I'm picking up is this person has possibly deceived you. So I don't, I don't understand why you would have to prove your love to them unless they're trying to make you feel like you have to compete for them. Maybe it's because they have a lot of options um, and they're trying to figure out which is the best option for them. But you have to do what's best for you. Um, and you know, I, me personally, I wouldn't chase a motherfucking thing, <laughs> um, at all. That's just my opinion, but Hey, it is what it is at the end of the day, guys, if this message resonated, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share with your family and friends, as well as click the bell to subscribe, subscribe. All right, Cancers, I hope these messages were helpful. Um, and if you want to book your very own personal reading, um, currently I'm running a sale for um, the Mercury retrograde phase that we're currently in. We're in the shadow phase. Mercury does go retrograde um, on October the 31st. So all the way from now up until October 31st, I am doing um, will my ex return or what they're expecting or what do they want? Why are they here? Because during that phase, the exes do return, okay? Um, so I'm currently running a special for that reading for $25. Okay. You can ask me three questions for $25. They are, the readings are via email. Okay. So I can get them out as quickly as possible and you can receive your reading the same day if it is booked between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time. Ciao for now.